director's kind of known for the emeralds as well, right? Well, yes. we're standing in front of a collection that was discovered in the early 1980s as part of the most famous treasury, treasure discovery that the world has ever known. Uh, if you were around back then, uh, the name Mel Fisher, who was the most intrepid, passionate, focused, dedicated treasure hunter ever, had developed techniques to be able to go beneath the floor of the ocean and for many, many years had uh, his research indicated that there were Spanish galleons that had sunk off the coast of Key West and he was determined to discover what treasure they held. The gold chalice is breathtaking. Uh, there is a, a little gold frame with extraordinary filigree work that you marvel how people could have done that and then marvel even more to think that this was underwater for uh, almost four centuries and how it looks like it was made yesterday. Uh, so those certainly stand out. The gold and emerald cross uh, is magnificent. And then there were, uh, I believe the number, about 12,000 pearls, uh, natural pearls that were discovered in the wreckage. And the two largest and presumably most valuable of those are here too, and those are quite breathtaking. So those are just a few of the items that, that strike my fancy.